guys, so lately I have switched a few things in my daily routine and it's helped me be more focused, energized and productive. So today I'll be sharing with you these three simple habits that you can develop and make them part of your daily life. To have a successful day, you need to prepare for it the day before. This is why the night before, and this is my tip number one, I like to leave my phone and computer in a separate room. I used to always sleep with my phone on my nightstand and although I turned off the internet, there was something about having a connected device near my head that made me uncomfortable. So thanks to Mel Robbins, I decided to leave my phone charging overnight in the kitchen. This means I cannot watch one more video in my bed or be tempted to check my emails. I'm making my room a space for rest, relaxation and reading. Oh. And one thing, since the phone is plugged in in the kitchen, I was worried I wouldn't hear the alarm in the morning or it would wake up the entire family when it goes off. Good thing I still hear it, no chance to hit the snooze button, and I energetically get up to turn it off so the rest of the family enjoys their sleep a little longer. The second thing that has dramatically helped me with my focus and productivity is waking up at least one hour before I have to. I used to be this person who would hit the snooze button a million times and only get up when I had to get up. Don't get me wrong, I'm almost never late for my work or my appointments. It's just that I used to get ready in a flash of an eye and that was just to enjoy one extra minute of sleep. Now, just like I said earlier, I like to prepare the success of my day the day before. So after a dinner and clean up, I like to read a bit before I go to bed and retire at around 11 p.m. When I wake up at 6 a.m., I have one full hour or sometimes even more for myself. I can enjoy the silence, stretch, or even work on a project. I'm not sure why it took me so long to implement this habit. I knew that all successful people start their days early, but it only hit me after reading Morning Miracle by Hal Erold. So if you need more arguments and proof that waking up early is good for you, I highly recommend you read this book. The next habit that has made a huge impact on my mood and overall well-being is working out. Let's get this straight. I never liked or enjoyed working out. I always found it ridiculous to be sweaty and looking like a mad person forced onto manual labor. But there was this week where I was in bed for a few days because of a bad flu. I took medication, but I was still feeling tired. In fact, I had been feeling this low energy for ages. No matter how long I slept at night, or if I took a nap or not, I was still feeling tired. As a mom, wife, who also runs a business and teaches at university, my tiredness may be understandable, but I just couldn't handle it anymore. I needed energy, not supplements, not an energy drink, not a quick fix. So I was faced with the fact I needed to try working out. The moment I decided to start working out, I feel I became a new person. My goal wasn't to lose weight or to look toned. My goal was simply to move my body that was tired of sitting in front of the computer screen all day. So now, three times a week, I go first thing in the morning to a park and do a mix of walking, running and using machines. That is my treat of the day. And being out in nature gives an additional bonus that is so good for the mind and body. It has now become my routine and I just love it. When I don't go out to the park, I put on a YouTube video and do a quick workout at home. The ultimate goal is to get moving and to improve endurance. So there you go guys. These are my three simple habits I urge you to try for yourself. If you feel it's too much for you, then try one habit at a time. And when you know it's become a habit, then you can move to the next one. Remember, science says that you need to do something for at least 21 days consistently before you can call it a habit. Let me know in the comments down below which of these three habits will you start implementing from tomorrow. Can't wait to read your comments. See you soon.